Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. Um, today, I'm going to be painting um, this page full of um, impressionist skies, where I've just um, sort of really freely painted over a page that's been divided up into several pieces with washi tape or masking tape, uh, just to see what happens. This kind of exercise is a really great way to get through painter's block if you've got that or if you have no idea what to paint. It can also be a fantastic sort of warming up exercise before you sort of knuckle down to a more planned painting. Um, I'm going to be using a limited palette of um, cerulean blue, raw sienna, burnt sienna, um, indigo and a little bit of um, burnt umber. I'm using a piece of Saunders Waterford cold pressed watercolour paper. It's 11 inches by 15 inches or 28 centimetres by 38 centimetres. It's taped to my board with ordinary decorators masking tape and I've divided it up into several pieces of different sizes using some washi tape. Um, my board's at an angle of about 45 degrees. That should give me an interesting effect as I paint wet in wet. And the aim for me here is just to really loosen up, let go, paint really freely with my colours, not try to sort of paint anything too specific, but just let the paint and water flow together, let gravity help with pulling the paint down and just see what happens. You can see that I've got a little tiny bit of um, colour in my water. I'm using old paint water. And so I've wet my page here and there um, some parts of my page are dry, some parts are wet. That means I should get a variety of edges, soft ed edges where the paint hits wet paper, harder edges where the paint hits the dry paper. And I'm just splashing on these lovely colours um, across my page, trying to leave some unpainted paper too because as I build up these um, tiny little impressionistic scenes, um, the unpainted paper where it softly diffuses into um, the cerulean blue should give me the impression of clouds. This is um, inspired by the painting that I did in my YouTube demo last weekend, which I'll link to below. And that was inspired by the amazing work of Louise Fletcher. I shall leave a link to the video that inspired me. So if you're interested in seeing either of those videos, then please follow the links below. So I've got this lovely burnt sienna across my sort of most of my land masses and I need to add some tone now. And so um, using my three quarter inch flat brush, I'm just working on softening up the transition between the cerulean blue and the white unpainted paper and some of the areas of um, burnt sienna. And then I can feather th through the paint a little um, across through different panels um, with the same brush and that will give me some sort of smaller finer clouds in some of the pictures you can see I'm moving the paint around not working deliberately from painting to painting working across the page and that's giving me these lovely spontaneous marks I want to keep this nice and fresh. I want to really exploit the transparency of the paint that we've got here, particularly in the sky. I think that transparency and the fresh, free brush strokes that you can get by using a large brush and the wet and wet method really does help to, um, to make the paint glow. It looks really fresh and not overworked at all. And that's what I'm focusing on now. This is indigo and burnt umber, just pulling that across the land masses, um, across the base of the tape. Everything's still wet, so it's softening and diffusing, but this richer paint will stay put. It won't run down the page as much. I'm trying to get a little bit of variety into each painting. So now I'm 
starting to work individually on the panels. I've got the beautiful base washes in across the whole page and now each landmass is being given a little bit of attention um, to get the values right. This is my palette knife and so I'm using it to scrape through the paint to reveal the paper beneath, get back to the white, paper, white of the paper in places or where the paper is just slightly tinted by the wash. Um, and that gives me some texture. It also gives me some suggested sort of land masses. Just something and nothing really. For this exercise, I'm not going to paint anything specific. I'm not going to think about putting in any trees or anything like that. I just want to keep it really, really simple. I'm going to leave everything to dry. So first I'm using a tissue or a paper towel and I'm wiping off around the edge of my painting. This clears up any little pools of water that might have gathered on the tape so that when I lay my board flat as it is here, um, I don't get any of those little pools of water running back into the painting and causing cauliflowers and nasty marks. I'm now going even darker with the three quarter inch flat brush here and there just across the base of some of these um, suggested land masses. Still keeping um, my marks and maybe making a few more, scraping in to the rich paint with the palette knife and then going back with the brush and just establishing a few very subtle darks in and around those scraped out areas. And it's quite interesting how just doing these few simple things can really suggest features in the land. So if you're suffering from painter's block or you don't know what to paint or you're sort of unsure of um, what your own style is in painting, then an exercise like this can be really worthwhile. And the best way to get unstuck is to make this idea your own by using your own colours, maybe even use mixed media, use some markers, uh, maybe some inks. You could even splash in some acrylic paint, use some oil pastels, something like that that maybe even try some collage and of course divide the paper up in whatever way appeals to you but most importantly try and sort of let go of the idea of needing to have a finished painting um, at the end just try and enjoy the process I think sometimes there's too much pressure put on us to just have a finished painting at the end of a painting session. But it doesn't have to be that way. Um, in order to sort of find out what we want to paint and the way we want to paint it, it can take an awful lot of experimentation. And someone like this is a really good place to start. So I think I'm done with this. I think it still looks really fresh. So I'm going to step away and not do any more to it, leave it to dry completely, and then come back and remove the tape and see what we've got. So here it is. I've raised my board back up to 45 degrees um, so I can get a good look at it. And it's time to remove the tape. I'll remove the washi tape first and, um, and we can then see how it looks. This is always the exciting part. I always love this, I think, especially with these experiments. You never know what you've got until you remove the tape. So that's the washi tape off. And here it is with the masking tape removed as well. And I'm really pleased with the way this has turned out. Um, and it was a very exciting process to be involved in. Um, and it's really given me some ideas. It's also taken me back to basics. I really enjoyed the sort of less is more approach here. All the washes are transparent and vibrant. The tones are rich and varied. Um, but there's no overworked areas. There's no sort of muddy areas. Um, there's nothing that looks particularly contrived. And that's what's so lovely about this very experimental approach. And it can really sort of free you up and give you some pointers as to where to go next with your painting. And I think these, I will cut them up and stick them into my landscape sketchbook and use them to inspire me to try and be as free and as loose as that um, in my next landscape painting and in my sky practice. 
So if you enjoyed that, don't forget to check out the links above, the one to my last demo and the one to um, Louise Fletcher's amazing channel. Um, and please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And if you click on the bell icon, you'll be notified whenever we post another demo. So thank you so much for watching and thank you to everyone that supports us on Patreon. And I'll see you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye.